Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be making a magic hanky bonnet. I'm making this for my grandbaby who is trying to come way too early so I need to get this done today so I can get it in the mail just in case he does come early which we're hoping that will not happen. Anyhow, um, here we go. It's uh, Let me go ahead and read you the poem that goes with it and if anyone if you decide you want to make one of these and you need the poem just email me and I, I've scanned it into my computer um, this is from my son's bonnet that my ex-mother-in-law had made for him and if you'll email me my emails always in the description then I'll send you the scanned image but this is what it says the magic hanky I'm just a little hanky as square as square can be but with a stitch or two, they made a bonnet out of me. I'll be worn from the hospital or on the christening day. Then I'll be carefully pressed and neatly packed away. For her wedding, is so, so we have been told, every well-dressed bride must wear something old. What would be more fitting than to find little me, a few stitches snipped, and a wedding hanky I'll be? If perchance it is a boy, which mine is, some day he'll surely wed, so to his wife he can present the hanky once worn upon his head. And I um, placed mine on it. I printed mine on cardstock and then I put it on another cardstock, cut it with some little fancy scissors, put a few dots on it, just, you know, dressed it up a little bit. I'm going to put a bow on it. And. Um, also in the description I'm gonna put a link to the lady that I bought my hanky from I didn't realize until I bought it because I I got one with an M initial for my grandson but when I bought it it said a seller you bought from before and I went and looked and I had bought two other hankies from her she sells vintage hankies and um, they're usually pretty nice so I'll put her link in the description but here we go So first off, we're going to iron the the hanky, and mine is an 11 by 11, but you could use a 12 by 12, I just, I'm afraid it would be too big. This, this is the 11 by 11, was made with an 11 by 11, this was my son's. So I'm using his for the template. And of course my M is not going to be on the front uh, like I had originally planned, but that's okay. So then you're going to fold it in half. And guys, this is not going to, you don't need a sewing machine, just a needle and a thread. And a little ribbon to put around the neck a bow if you want it. My daughter does not want it girly. She does not want a bow. So you fold it in half and look you don't have to be perfect. It's fine. Then you're going to fold it like this. Press that down. Sorry, I got steam in my iron. Then you're going to take this down, you know, just eyeball it, kind of like this. And right here is where you will tack this. You just take a couple little stitches right there. I'm going to iron it down so that it stays in place. like so and then you will put it in half this way 
and you're just going to flip the corner up. Otherwise, if you don't, it's going to be uh, way too big around the baby's neck. Unless, of course, you have a big baby. If our baby comes too early, then we'll have a tiny baby and it won't fit. Let me straighten this up a little bit. Since it will be on the outside flip. I want to make them the same so it should flip right about here there we go and when I took my sons out it had accidentally gotten flipped up like this from where it had been packed. But look, I think I'm going to actually do that to my grandsons. Because you know how their heads are always falling over and it's going to be up against his neck. So I'm going to do it like this. It kind of gives it an Amish look. But I'm going to flip mine up like that. So, you've folded it in half. You've ironed it. You put your two sides down, met in the middle, ironed it, flip this down, ironed it. You're going to tack it right here. I'm going to put the back, I'm going to flip it up and iron it. like this is that no 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 okay good so I'm going to tack it all the way here all the way to here of course not all the way through I'm going to hold it up tack it two or three stitches. Then you're going to tack the corners up. And here's where you could put a little bow like they did on my son's. And a ribbon. She may get a little bow whether she wants it or not. I kind of like that little bow. Anyway, I'm going to go stitch mine and I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it's all stitched up. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. And this is what we have. I went ahead and, and made a little bow on the side. I also tucked these up in the back. And I'm going to show you how I did this. But right here, you can see there are only a couple of stitches down here you flip it inside out and do these stitches there's one stitch here one stitch here and then on the bow I stitched all the way through the bow and ribbon I put two stitches on top and two on bottom I remember this will be on a tiny baby newborn baby or if it's for a christening um, it's gonna be a bigger baby but they're still not gonna be yanking it and pulling it and, you know it doesn't have to be super sturdy because the point is you want to be able to just nip those little stitches out whenever you use it for your wedding or they use it for their wedding so here's how I did my bow I took my ribbon and I used this because it's nice and soft. I had gross grain ribbon. I didn't have any of the really tiny ribbon. So 
you're going to have these little frayed edges when you cut it. Just take a lighter. Don't get it real close or it'll put a black mark across it. So you do that to keep the edges from fraying. I cut these on an angle and did the same thing here. Then I just flipped it around my finger like that. Pushed it together. Folded this in half to go around. And there's my little bow. So whenever you go to stitch it, bunch it together. Put two stitches on the top, two stitches on the bottom. Stitching through your little folded piece. I'm just going to leave that. See, here's the stitching. Stitch it along like that. Stitch there. Stitch there. And just don't come through too much on the on the outside. One stitch here. One stitch here. Two on the top. Two on the bottom of your bow. And there you have it. I don't like how my initial is so far back on the hat. But, like I said, it's going to be a wedding hanky, ultimately. It's only for uh, my grandbaby's going to wear his home from the hospital if he makes it until I get this shipped to them. You also could tuck this back if you have a, a tiny baby. Say he comes out and he's really tiny and you want to use the hat. You would fold this corner in go back put a stitch here on the top I'm going to show you one more this was one I had made some time back if you have a girl and you want it to be a little more girly you can get you know some kind of fancy hanky and on this one same thing not a lot of stitches I put stitch on the end stitch in the middle. Actually, I think I did two stitches at each place to make it sturdy. Fold up the edges. These are pre-made bows with ribbon. And then the way this one works is you would pull it like this. And it gathers up to make a really cute little bonnet. And of course, you could do this for a boy as well. Uh, like I said, my daughter was, she was adamant she wanted it to not be girly. So I didn't think she would really like this kind, even though I think this is really cute. You could have still made this with a regular hanky. In fact, I got this vintage hanky because his coming home outfit is gonna be gray. So I got this one white with the gray embroidery and since she felt like they were flowers she did not want this one and this is from the lady that I'm gonna leave her link this is one of her vintage hankies and then of course I loved this one still has the original tag it's Egyptian cotton handmade in the Philippines Anyway, um, her hankies are uh, like anywhere from 5 to I think $12. I pay like 6 or 7 for most of the hankies I've gotten from her, so I'll leave her information below. Here's the girl version. Here's the boy version. And that's it for today, so hit the subscribe. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.